In this video, we'll be recapping a trip to the Caledonian Canal I recently took with a couple of friends, Graham and Tim. After meeting near Tim's, we set off for the long drive to Scotland. We headed towards the Highlands via Stirling, just in case of any traffic around the Loch Lomond area. As usual, the drive over Rannoch Moor and down into Glencoe was spectacular giving us a glimpse of the scenery we would soon be experiencing. As this would be Graham and Tim's first experience of paddleboard touring, we decided to spend the first night on the shores of Loch Hoik, near the Well of the Seven Heads. <laughs> this gave us the chance of organising our camping gear etc. We settled down and had a nice barbecue of steak and chicken while discussing <laughs> our options for the coming days. We decided the next day that we would drive up to Fort Augustus and then paddle back the canal and camp at the other end of Loch Oik. After dropping all the equipment off at the launch point on the canal, we then parked the cars up in Fort Augustus and just grabbed a few supplies such as a nice Scottish breakfast pack after loading the boat up, we proceeded to paddle down the canal towards Kytra Locks. As this was early May, and in fact it was the coronation weekend which we decided to escape all the hullabaloo about. It was quite cool, but the weather was good and kind to us, even though we did have a bit of a headwind to paddle into. Apart from escaping the coronation, the other big reason in picking May was to try and dodge the midges. Our first portage through Kaita Locks, uh, just taking the last bit over to the other side, then um, it's into Loch Oik. Come on, Bailey boy. Where's Graham? Go and get Graham. Where is he? Hatch. <laughs> I think that's it. Oh, cheers. Yep. You want to eat 10 minutes or so? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, what's your first thoughts? Cool, yeah. I'm enjoying it. Bit nervous about the, uh, the weight at the start. I got <laughs> we took the chance of a 10 minute break while a couple of canoes were finishing their portage. 
and then we proceeded down the canal towards Clocky Locks. The last section of the canal towards Clocky Locks did open up a bit and we ended up going into quite a stiff headwind which did make it a bit tougher. There is a low one at the front if you want that. Good. It was a little bit of a slog. Waved, Bailey. Oh, nice day though. It's not too hot, is it? After completing the second portage, we decided to have a bit of a brunch and the Scottish breakfast pack that we picked up in Fort Augustus certainly hit the spot. down the last bit of the canal and into Loch Oik. I was aiming for it roughly where I'd camped when I'd done the Caledonian Canal. Just as we were approaching Loch Oik, Graham managed to catch his fin on a rock and ended up in the drink. 
This is the only mishap on the whole trip. It's a shock, isn't it, first one? And you know what? I had me camera going. <laughs> What's that brown patch? <laughs> there is one. <laughs> Did you fin touch then or? Yeah. Yeah, so I've got me river fin on. I was, what's going to put me longer one on as well? After paddling a couple of miles into Lockhoy, we came across a really good clearing, which I had already had a fire pit set up and plenty of space for us to camp. This is on the south side of the loch. After setting up the camp, we had a quick swim and then I, I treated Graham and Tim to a Korean army stew for tea. Afterwards, we had a quick paddle around the oh, small as island. As soon as you move the out onto the loch, we move into it. Yeah. It's just After making a Scottish breakfast, I had to quickly deal with some negative comments about me cooking before we headed back to Fort Augustus. The plan for the day was to head to Fort Augustus for some lunch before heading up to Loch Lochie and finding the campsite on the northern side of the loch. After lunch and a look around Fort Augustus, we headed up to Loch Lochie and parked the cars at the Viewpoint car park and headed across the loch. We were really lucky as the first point we reached across the loch was one of the wilderness camps. We enjoyed a great evening with a couple of scotches and some good food around the campfire having a chat. After a decent night's kip we decided to have our breakfast down on the beach and then had a swim and <laughs> a few dunks in the lock before breaking what, camp. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> With heavy rain forecast later in the day and overnight, we decided to finish on a high and head back down south.
After packing the, the cars up, we headed south again with a stop for lunch just outside Calendar. The next morning we headed down to the Minoon Lake Bay morning dip and surprised Leslie of our swimming group by turning up for her birthday celebrations as she hadn't expected us to be there as it originally we were going to be staying in Scotland for an extra day. This was a nice end to our weekend. Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> what were you thought about this Scotland trip? <laughs> I'm going to edit this. Absolutely fantastic. Really good. Amazing. It's absolutely amazing. It reminded me very much of the movie Footloose. <laughs> You know that'll go in. <laughs> get Tim, get Tim. Come on, Tim. What was your best bits? Best bits? Uh, the food, obviously. Uh, I haven't been camping. No, I've been camping before, but not for like 50 years or something. So it was good. And I learned to survive with minimal things. And I didn't realise you could carry it all on the paddleboard, so that was good. It's just like rocking up to the, to the island, getting on the board, rocking up to the board. So would you do it again? Yeah. It's like being free, isn't it? I've got a stuff. Yeah. It's only good, it was only good for Ted, everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going if I have to carry yeah, stuff yeah. It would be a different or, thing. or anything. Yeah, it would be a different thing if you have to yeah. yourself. So are you up for the whole Caledonian way next year? Uh, yeah. I mean, that, the, the canals were hard actually in that wind, weren't they? Yeah. Um, I'm sure. Yeah. But we were lucky with the weather as well, weren't we? Certainly were. Campsites were great, weren't they? We didn't have anybody apart from last night. No bitches. 